Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Kieran from Gen Z Finance here. Now, I've been wanting to talk about this stock for some time now. I've seen it around the media and I've been seeing that this stock is making an appearance in the ARK investment portfolio. Of course you guys know what stock we are going to be talking about today, but it is workhorse guys. I've seen this stock has received crazy amounts of hype recently. And in the past few months, the stock has absolutely went insane. And it is now sitting at $15.99 a share here today from $2 a share in June. Now, when Kathy Wood is stepping her feet into this speculation stock, it is pretty interesting, guys. And I had to research this one and see where this business model is heading in the next few years. So, let's take a look at the ARK Investment Portfolio. They've been adding shares of Workhorse to their portfolio a lot recently, and ARK Invest is currently holding 547,443 shares for a total value of $8,753,613.50 in change. ARK Invest is continuously buying this stock. As you can see, the numbers have been climbing and climbing and climbing day after day. Every single time they release a report, more shares have been added to Workhorse. So, let's dive into the fundamentals and the financials and see why Kathy Wood with ARK Invest and all of the other retail investors are so bullish on Workhorse. Now, I'm going to gather all of the important information in the investors relations page so you guys aren't being bored with all the facts. So, Workhorse is changing the way the world works. Workhorse's plan is to redefine the last mile delivery. Just looking at this first slide, guys, this is already looking pretty interesting. They have a proven track record with nearly 400 electric delivery vehicles on the road and 5 million miles driven in real life duty cycles and climates. They are a fully electric American OEM. They were founded in 2007 and their headquarters is in Loveland, Ohio. Looking at these three delivery vehicles here, I don't know if you can consider a delivery drone a vehicle, but this is something I haven't seen before. A UAV delivery system. This is an unmanned aerial system designed for package delivery. And it seems they're looking to get this into the market as soon as possible. They also have to offer fully electric delivery vans that are ISO certified, jointly developed with UPS to meet their stringent requirements. Guys, this is something that could be very big. But let's continue down the page and see what else is in store for Workhorse. So here we are looking at the investment highlights here. They're market leader, first mover, and only US pure play OEM and medium duty electrification for last mile delivery and an $18 billion delivery cargo van market with significant EV demand. They also have a technology validation from blue chip customers and partners, guys. This is a big one. They have UPS, DHL, FedEx in there, and a whole bunch of other ones. That is looking very, very promising for Workhorse for sure. Guys, this is a big one. Near-term growth opportunities from the USPS NGDV program, which represents a $6.3 billion, 165,000 vehicle opportunity and partnership with Lordstone Motors Corporation for the development of a new fully electric pickup truck. Scalable manufacturing at their 265,000 square foot plant in Union City, Indiana, with the ability to produce 60,000 vehicles per year. This enables them for a clear path to profitability. So guys, that is great news for Workhorse. You know they're not going to be running into any manufacturing issues to get their vehicles out there to their customers. So guys, taking a look at their C-Series delivery van. It's designed in partnership with UPS. The C-Series is purpose-built to be the safest and most efficient last mile delivery system available. So guys, taking a look at their C-Series delivery van. It's designed in partnership with UPS. The C-Series is purpose-built to be the safest and most efficient last mile delivery system available. The Horsefly delivery drone is a 100 mile fully electric range delivery system. This reduces per package last mile costed by 95%. This is four cents per mile versus one dollar for a gas vehicle fully integrated with workhorse medium duty vehicles including on vehicle charging they were recently granted horsefly patent covers any drone utilization integrated with delivery vehicles 
Recurse also offers a Metron telematic system. It's a cloud-based, database-driven proof-of-performance monitoring system. This provides their clients access to real-time data to monitor and measure their performance. This gives the fleet operators ultimate energy and route efficiency management. So Workhorse has made significant improvements to their C1000 here. So they brought down the total weight to 7,000 pounds from 11,000. The miles per gallon here, they brought it up to 40 from 32, which is great. They, um, the percentage maintenance cost reduced to 60% instead of 50%. That is insane as well. Um, their floor height is now 14 to 24 inches which is great as well, down from 32. The distance range is the same, the charging time is the same, and the battery pack capacity has dropped a little bit here. Workhorse's goal is to take over the last mile delivery market that represents $8 billion annually. So the number of last mile delivery vehicles that were purchased by the US fleets annually was $350,000. The average price for these delivery vehicles are $50,000. So they're going to be trying to tackle this market opportunity. Workhorse is going to tackle their broad customer base. They're going to be dealing with DHL, FedEx, UPS, Amazon, and Walmart, which is incredible. They have a bunch of different other products. They have a C650, smaller, smaller vans here. They have a C450, a smaller van as well. And they have, of course, the C1000 we just covered there. So certain, certain companies will be dealing with certain vans and that's how that is going to go. Their solution is green and cost efficient, 40 miles per gallon full efficiency for C-Series versus six miles per gallon for UPS. This reduced the operating cost from $1 a mile to 36 cents a mile, which is insane, guys. That is amazing news. They reduced the maintenance cost to moving, cost moving to electric, increased driver satisfaction, retention, and health. That's fantastic. Helps achieve ESG and sustainability goals multiple size configurations to meet the unique needs of each customer perfect so guys workhorse has provided us this little chart here to show the competitive advantage they have over all the other companies stepping their feet into the electric car game so right now they have the durability their heavy duty long life cycle components the ground up purpose built design so all their delivery vehicles here the zero emission all electric low emission range extender their low fuel and maintenance they're going to get a positive roi in three years no incentives required and always guys don't forget this integrated drone the horsefly uav delivery system workhorse electric bands their relationship with ups is going fantastic they have six orders placed to date totaling 1345 vehicles not trying to bore you guys with all the facts here but these are all of workhorses manufacturing companies that they deal with and their partnerships so if you guys want to dive deeper into that it'll be on the investors relations page all right guys so this is one of their big boy plays here this is a growth opportunity they're going to have a partnership with lordstone motors and it is about a license and manufacturer electric pickup truck utilizing the w15 technology now workhorse granted lordstone motors a license to the technology and design of the workhorse w15 pickup truck lordstone will be the sole manufacturer of the vehicles the 6.2 million square foot facility was purchased from gm and can produce up to 250,000 vehicles per year Workhorse will retain a two-year non-dilutable 10% equity stake in Lordstone Motors in exchange for the license of the technology. Workhorse will receive a royalty fee for each electric pickup truck delivered by Lordstone. Workhorse will no longer manufacture the W15, allowing its manufacturing facility to focus solely on last mile delivery vehicles. Guys, this is crazy, crazy good news for this partnership with Lordstone and their electric pickup truck and makes them step in to a different space here with the pickup truck instead of just delivery vans, which is fantastic. They're gonna get a 10% equity stake, which is phenomenal, phenomenal news and a great growth opportunity for Workhorse for sure. Taking a look at the board of directors here, it looks like all of these men have had a lot of experience building businesses, a lot of experience being in business, which is phenomenal news. You can see on the right hand side there, all the businesses that they have worked in and had they have created or been a part of guys that is the end of the investors relations page now let's take a deep dive into workhorses financials guys so i'm on the q2 earnings release for 2020 their financial results guys this is insane this company is a burden cash 
They are burning cash for sure. So the sales for the second quarter of 2020 were recorded at 92,000 compared to 5,500 in the second quarter of 2019. Cost of goods sold increased to 1.5 million from 930,000 in the second quarter of 2019. This is not good. They said the increase was primarily driven by increases in labor and material relating to costs for the C-Series production. Their selling general and administrative expenses increased to 3.9 million from 2 million in the same period last year. The increase was due primarily to increases in consulting expenses, higher employee related costs, and incentive stock expenses. Research and development expenses increased to 1.6 million from 1.2 million in the second quarter of 2019. The increase was mostly due to increases engineering, staffing, and consulting expenses was related to the design of the C-Series. Interest expense net increased to 124.3 million compared to an interest expense net of 15.9 million in the same period last year. I understand the company isn't going to be profitable. Obviously, they're focusing on the growth potential and trying to gain market share in the delivery business, of course. So currently, as a result of company's $70 million financing and the exercising of previous issued stock warrants and options, the company has approximately $105 million in cash and cash equivalents, which is perfect for this company and building their growth. So guys, the reason why the, the net loss is so drastic and the net sales is so low is because the company is basically giving their delivery vans on loan. That's why they said in three years they're looking to be prof profitable because then they will get the full extent payment to them for all their delivery vans. So guys, their net sales is 91942 up 85000 from their previous quarter in 2019. So we're looking at a net loss of 131,331,909 dollars here up drastically from last year. 20 million dollar loss. Guys, and I have seen better balance sheets as well. They're sitting on 55 million in total assets. Their cash and cash equivalents is looking fantastic here though. 26 million dollars in cash and cash equivalents. Plus they did say they are holding another extra 100 million in investor capital. So that being said, their total current liabilities is 105 million guys. That's a negative total asset to total current liability ratio which is not too great for this balance sheet and the company there's a lot of risk involved in this company guys there's a lot of speculation involved and in my opinion this company on a risk to reward level is way way too dangerous for me and i do not think i'm going to be building this into a position at all as of now just considering the balance sheet guys i like to make sure i do have a good risk reward potential here the fundamentals of the business are great the plans they have are great but just for me to invest in this company i do have to have some certainty here i have to be able to know that the company will be able to push through financial difficulties and right now this balance sheet isn't doing wonders for me all right guys so that being said that is the end of this video today if you guys do want more stock market related videos like this one make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe and have a great day